Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here as part of Rosie's Creative Club Design Team and I'm going to be sharing a project with you, but before I do that, I just wanted to mention that Rosie's is an online scrapbooking store for those who don't know. Uh, they carry paper collections, stamps, dyes, ephemera. You need to go check them out and I'll put that link down for you. They also have digital collections, which is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, if you care to see an um, sort of unboxing of this collection i have it on a previous video i used all the paper so i don't have any printed at the moment but this is basically what the collection looks like it is called midnight moonlight and as you can see it is super cute it has really cute images cut apart some things and then your papers on top which is adorable so what i decided to create since we're celebrating october 1st today I wanted to make a October daily for myself, and that is what I did. It's going to be kind of hard to show this because it's a 3D project, and those are always challenging. But um, I decided to create my October daily in a different format because I like to be different sometimes. So anyhow, this is what I've created, and I'm just going to give you a little look around first before I um, bother to get into the details of it. So you can see I've even um, papered everything all the way around. I've done a lot of sewing, a lot. <laughs> That's the bottom I even covered. Um, and it is just the cutest ever, I think. It came out so adorable. These papers made it so much fun. Um, so let me just talk to you about what I did first, and then we'll get into the inside. So I have a die cut that I put here, and I just um, added some... Um, thickers that were 2024. I didn't have orange ones, so I just used a uh, marker and colored over the ones that I did have. Um, I added a piece of the ephemera. I made some little flowers with the collection, and I have some spider webs tucked back in there. I have some uh, lavender pom-pom trim and some baker's twine in orange and white. I used these Jingle Bell pumpkins and that's the noise you're hearing um, as the feet of this box and pretty much that's it back here I flattened out some straws I use my big shot to do that just run the straws through it gets them nice and flat as you can see um, I added a bat die cut I had this happy Halloween um, banner die that I decided to cut out and use there with the papers from the collection and just a little pom-pom up there some diamond dots around the edges there so that's basically the box in itself. Um, but inside, I decided to do file folders. Um, I have a love of file folders, whether they're big ones, small ones, you name it. I love them. So I'm going to show you just a few. There's a lot in here. It goes all the way up to 31. And what I did was I took all of the digital images and I shrunk them down. And then I numbered them so that I could put them um, for each day of the month leading up to the 31st. So today is the first, and I will be filling this in later today. I haven't started yet, but this is how the folders look. I did, um, I'm gonna scoot this over just so it won't take away from this, but I did sew everything. I sewed and sewed and sewed. I sewed the inside paper, the outside paper. I sewed everything. Anyhow, this is a little real estate. I don't do a lot in October but I still would like to document what I do do. So um, I put just this little folder. I have a little photo sleeve shaker there, just so, just some interest. I added some washi tape. And then here's an area where I can add printer uh, photos. And I, I have a printer that prints really small photos. So I can add photos and do some journaling however I want. So I really um, decorated lightly throughout the whole thing just because I don't know what I need or when I'm going to need it or how much I'm going to need, etc., etc. So um, I used a flat straw on this side and I added a bat from the uh, collection. I just fussy cut it and uh, put the little banner and I think it's just adorable as my first folder. Um, number two, I'll just show you a first few here and then a few there and we'll call it a call it that but this one just to show you that you can get more real estate inside of these I have a um, pull out um, it's like a what you call a foldable accordion so that I have more room for more pictures I don't know that I'll need them this day that's why it's hard to 
go ahead of time because you don't know what you're going to need until you're that day. But um, this one I took a chance. Um, I used a little die cut from the collection and this was part of a border strip that they had and I just added it there for some some color. This one I basically added a pocket. I put in some of the cut aparts here and you could see I've added the numbers on these. I think they're so adorable. Um, I had a little paper clip with a pom pom. This is from the collection. This actually was a border strip and it was supposed to be rainbows that way, but I cut it out and made it as a banner. I thought it looked cute like that. So that's that. Uh, let's jump ahead. I've got, let's see, this is day 18. So you can see what I said where I've done minimal um, uh, decorating. I did leave, leave these lifted. They're just die cuts from the collection so that I would have a place to tuck some photos into. And then I'll show you one more. And this is the Halloween one. This is the last day. I don't know what again I'll need, but I do have a photo sleeve in here so I can add a photo, a die cut from the collection, um, place to put photos here and here. And I also um, added a piece of the banner um, border strips from the collection there. So I thought it was really cute. It's a cute way to um, have a October daily. And if, especially if you're one of those people who don't have a whole lot going on throughout the year, you can at least have a little bit of some memories from that time. And it's just a fun uh, display for your home as well during the holiday of Halloween. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you'll visit Rosie's studio and I hope that you will uh, consider purchasing this digital. It's adorable for Halloween. It's so fun to play with. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.